What's up guys? So spring is trying to spring here in Idaho. So I'm going to go up to the South Fork of the Boise here on Monday and spend the night camping and fly fishing. And there's this great little spot with this great little pocket and curve in the river. Uh, but I had to bring my kayak with me last time just to be able to get into these certain little spots. And so I'm dragging around this kayak uh, just to literally get across the river. And fly fishing out of a kayak isn't great, you know, especially in current, you know, you're spending more time fighting with paddles and line and everything's kind of piled up in your lap. It just kind of sucks. And casting from a prone position just sucks. So I thought it'd be a good idea to get into a float tube. So <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure I'll fall in love with this. So I wanted to find a bargain. This one is actually produced by a company out of Washington, which is our neighbors. So if I do need parts for it, they're right there. Uh, it normally retails for $139, but it was on sale at Sportsman's Warehouse for $100. So I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, it has got the foam seat, so you sit kind of high in the water. Um, I talked to the guy at Sportsman's, and he used to go with the Cat 4s and uh, those bigger boats, but he ended up in this one. Uh, it's evidently the best bang for the buck you can get and he really enjoys it and he did pop it um he got blown into some branches and he called the company and they had a new bladder in the mail before he even got off the phone so this caddis company evidently they really stand by their stuff which is cool it doesn't come with fins or a pump and at that price point i kind of get that so <laughs> i went to the local pawn shop and actually found these caddis fins um, they lace up around your wading boots. I'm not 100% sure about that, so I might go with like a Velcro strap scene, but that should work. I don't know. I'll give it a shot. And I have these pumps lying around that I use for my inflatable mattresses and stuff. I'm not sure, sure which one's going to fit into the nozzle, but I busted them both out. So let's see if I can unbox this sucker and fill it up with air and see if it's a viable candidate to make my fishing life a little better. Let's check it out. Okay, so when I take it out of the box, I'm amazed at how light it is. Um, it does have the foam seats, so it's not going to pack down uh, like one of the smaller inflatables, but it does have these shoulder straps. So that's really cool. So once you do have it inflated, maybe I could throw it on my back and uh, hop on my dirt bike and ride up the river. It not go too fast, obviously, with a big inflatable on your back, but it's kind of cool. And there it is. All right, so there it is all laid out. That's fresh out of the box. And there is no real assembly, except for this cross member. It's like a couple of PVC tubes with some foam. I'm assuming that's gonna go right in there as your cross member. And there it is. Pretty much all there is to it. Let's get some air in this sucker. Okay, so this is cool. The nozzle's located in the left little tackle compartment. Just unzip that and there it is. Um, it's a two-stage nozzle, so um, it has the input and then you unscrew that to let air out of it. And my little Ozark Trail pump, the hose on it, which is right at about five eighths fits directly in there Bloop. so uh they actually sell little uh pump adapters for these but if you have one of these little pumps with a five eighths hose then it's gonna plug right in there so there you go all right there she blows all inflated Let's see. Silas, hop on in there. I'll come in next. Okay. We're going to do a weight test. What do you think? So your feet actually go under this. That's like a stripping apron. Like that. Wait, what do you think? Be touching the water. Yeah, your feet are going to be hanging in the water. But that's okay, because I'm going to be wearing waders. Wait, what's in this? That is how you inflate the boat. It has a nozzle right there. Oh. And then you can put your could tackle you and your snacks. Nice. Same with this and side. And there's another pocket here. Yep. 
And then it has Velcro fly patches right here, so I can put my flies on there. Oh, what are flies? They're fishing. They're what I used to fish with. Yeah. Oh, do you put? Are these what you put on your feet? No. So like they're under your feet? <laughs> no. He just said they're fly pads. So I, I I put my little fishing hooks in here. I just stab them into there, and then I could just stick it there, and that way I have them all ready to go. Like a hard one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Miles. Yeah, it goes by two, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It makes the numbers nice and big. That way, when you lay your fish there, you can take a picture of it and uh, measure. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> How's it lounge? Good, actually, it's really comfortable. So, am I going to fish in it or take a nap in it? Both. <laughs> I'm digging it. Of course, it's Saturday and I'm not leaving till Monday morning. Might just leave it inflated, throw it in the back of the truck. I don't know. Pretty cool. All right. See you on the water. Let's see how it works. So, guys. Dude, this float tube scene is where it's at. I ain't tripping. I'm just flipping. <laughs> flipping some trout in my net, too. Giving him a breather. Give me a tussle. There he goes. Ready, dude? Off you go. Ah. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Please and thank you. Good job. Make sure you bring it back with a full tank. Okay.